today I'm out in my tomato patch evaluating what went well and what didn't this year so your garden is improved next year. The first mistake is one that most gardeners make at some point. You would think after all these years, I would know that of course you have to build a good trellis for your tomatoes from the start. So this is my tomato bed and you can see I grow them in a raised bed and this is supposed to be a path right here, but <laughs> My tomatoes have all fallen over um, to this side, which is a big problem. And so I used tomato cages, but I was also growing indeterminate and determinate tomatoes. And you can see they just got too heavy for the tomato cages and have fallen over. Fortunately, my tomatoes were not beyond saving. Here's how I fixed it. I took these two plants these are big indeterminate tomatoes that had outgrown their cages. And so I have this, this is actually a bed frame um, that is going to become the trellis. And I've actually used that for many years as a trellis and I don't know why I didn't do it this year. So we're going to retroactively tie them up um, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And then I'll take these out. I have several sections of that bed frame. It makes a fantastic upcycled uh, trellis. So I'll show you it all when it's done. So I've been able to get all of the tomato cages off except for this one. So we had to take this and cut it. So it's done. The five plants that are here are all tied up and trellised. I've put the fruit as best I can on the outside so that it is going to get the most light and air circulation. So here's an important tip. At the end of the growing season, be sure you are out cutting off side shoots, leaves, stems, blossoms to help improve air circulation and access to light. I went away for about 10 days and I came back and there's all this growth at the bottom, which means that the fruit that is there is not getting light or air. So it's not ripening very quickly. When I moved my tomatoes from one side of the yard to another, I didn't account for the fact that the sun would be in a different location and it would affect them more than I thought. And that south side evidently gets significantly more sunshine than the north side. Now for something that went really well, Oyas. I first learned about using Oyas from an urban farm in Pasadena and they have changed the game for me. An Oya is an unglazed terracotta pot. It's buried with the plants and the roots of the plants are literally right next to the water. The water seeps out through the terracotta and into the soil. It's a phenomenal thing. It keeps the soil consistently moist. Consistent moisture helps prevent blossom end rot. I only have to fill mine about every five to seven days, depending on what the weather has been like too, which is pretty amazing. I also cut off lots and lots of leaves. Anything that wasn't going to really contribute, I took off. So there's a ton of fruit still on here. I took off anything that was diseased or blemished, but honestly, there wasn't a whole lot to take off. And here it is. So we'll see how this goes. I also, you notice, I tied most of the fruit. This is the north side. I tied most of the fruit to the south side. And we'll see if that makes a difference or not. So now all I have to do is fill my Oyas. These are my Oyas, and now I can reach them better too get those filled and clean this up a little bit and we're good to go. Hi, so it's been a couple of days and I wanted to kind of give you the final update on the tomatoes. First of all, it's not raining anymore, so they're getting lots of good sunshine and with the new trellises up, they are getting so much more light and air, so they are ripening faster. And when we are racing frost, like we do here in Colorado, that is a very good thing. It goes to show it's really never too late to try to fix a mistake. And for sure, I'll be trellising them on these next year, not on tomato cages. Be sure to shop Botanical Interests either online, the link's in the description, or at any one of our thousands of retailers across the country. Happy gardening.